Hey, what's up, guys? Chelsea Briggs here, hanging out with Tyler of Neon Trees. Good to see you. How's it going? Good. It's been a little bit, a little it while. <laughs> it started with a whisper, and now it's when I kissed her. We're on the set of your music video for Lesson in Love. Yep. Tell me about it. What's the concept we're at here? A, you realize we're at a, like a, an actually haunted, abandoned hospital it's right like now. It's like actually LA. freaky. Is it really haunted though? Yeah, it was on Ghost Hunters apparently. Stop. So we should probably go explore and not do this interview and just. Can we please yeah, do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me about the concept behind this video. It's a sequel to our Everybody Talks video of sorts. I'm I'm continually just in a nightmare in this one. So I know I saw Trixie make an appearance. Trixie's back and uh, she's leading me on again. And so I'm I'm at a classroom. I'm going to teach these deadbeat kids the lessons in love and how, maybe lighten their load a little bit. How would you be as a teacher? I'd be, <laughs> I'd be an okay teacher, but I don't know why I'm teaching anyone about love because I still am figuring it out I was myself. Gonna, I was going to say, what is your biggest lesson you've learned in love? Honesty, right? Yeah, I think, truth. I think honesty is the most important. So Definitely. Well, I think the set's so cool. There's so much detail to you it. Like it. Is there something like maybe you want fans to pick out or like a certain detail that you kind of wanted to be there? I want to do like a side-by-side -side of like, can you pick out this character from the first video okay. and see us? And that's fun. I, there's like lots of eyeballs where I actually really like a lot of eyeball art. Okay. And a lot of the fans know that about me, so I'm glad that there are a bunch of uh, giant eyeballs in, in the shots. And so. spiders. There's like and spiders, spiders and insects. Why yeah. is that? I don't know. It's just <laughs> the creepiness. I don't know. Did you come up with the concept wholeheartedly, yeah, or how did that work? What's fun is with working with Paul, uh, Paul Boyd, who's directed Everybody Talks and Now Lessons in Love. He lets us um, come up with a lot of the ideas, and then he like just fleshes them out and goes nuts with them. So it was, I have a lot of faith in him, and uh -huh. that's cool. You don't meet a lot of people that can complete your vision the way he does, so it's cool. How is this recording music video for you? Is it fun, daunting? It's weird, because I'm lip syncing, and I'm not, I hate lip syncing, I'm not a lip syncer, but ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's what you do on a video. I know there's a lot of people that don't realize that. They don't that. know that. But yeah, you're just mouthing the words. But, um, and, and there's a lot of people, like extras, just kind of staring at me, and uh, no one claps after. No. So you, you want to feel like you're <laughs> doing good, and you're you don't feel that way. I want to talk to you about your album a little bit because obviously cool. you just released it um, a few months back, and it's really rad. Thank you. My dad. How does it? Because I feel like every album takes people through a journey. How yeah. what was the journey you wanted to take your fans through? Each uh, song is almost um, it's mini story and a mini epic, and it, it, it's very energetic. And um, every song sounds different. I think on the record versus the first record, I think there's there were things that led led in each other but I think with this one I think every song sounds like its own so Definitely. it's fun and this single you actually worked with Cascade on it yeah how was that experience it was cool because he's kind of been a fan and also a friend for a long time mm -hmm. and it's rad to see his uh, success in the EDM world and our success in the pop rock world and he let me just write the song and then he just added his stuff to it and um, his remix is amazing so go check it out on his record as well and I, I love it and I love that we're able to get into an, another side of music that maybe normal normal people in the EDM world might not listen to any on trees, so it's cool. You guys are going on tour with The Offspring soon. Can you believe that? How exciting is that? It's fun, man. I think um, kids still like them. A lot of old older fans still like them. Mm. And I think it's going to get us in front of a lot of people that maybe wouldn't normally go see us. And it's cool. A lot of the punk bands of the of like when I was young, really like us. Uh -huh. I'm flattered by it, so it's cool. Totally, as they should. <laughs> yeah, and Dead Sarah is opening the tour as well. She, and Well, she's fantastic, but they're a great band, so I'm excited. Well, so great talking to you yeah, again. Yeah, good to see you again as well. And good luck with the rest of your day, because you have a long day ahead of you, so. Yeah. Hello, it's Tyler from Neon Trees, and you're on hollywire.com.